Hi everyone, I'm Brendan, DevRel Engineer at Hashgraph, and today I'm going to show you how to complete the 5 minute token launch challenge um, on Hedera. Uh, you don't need to do anything uh, as a prerequisite or a setup, all you need are a GitHub account and a browser. Let's begin. So go to this repo, github.com, Hedera Dev, 5 minute token launch challenge, and in there, in the readme, you'll see a big green button. Uh, open in Git pod. So open link in a new tab and you'll see a Git pod spinner for a few seconds and what this is doing is creating a cloud instance. If this is your first time using Git pod, um, you'll be asked for some permissions um, to allow the Git pod application um, and then you'll come to this screen. I'm going to crank up the font size a little bit so that it's easier to read and you will see this is running entirely inside of the browser. So on the left here, you've got your file navigation. Over here, you have your files uh, or your code editor. And over here, you have a terminal. In fact, there are three. Um, this is getting dependencies in the background. This is running RPC Relay, and this is um, the main terminal, uh, which we'll be using. You don't need to bother with the other two. Now, um, the first thing to do is to answer the interactive prompts, and that will help you to build a .env file with all the credentials. And so you can see this here, this is all empty, and we will be um, getting this filled out for us automatically. So inside the terminal, it says, please enter some values requested or accept the default. So for a bit 39 seed phrase, um, just hit enter and you'll get a new one generated at random. For number of accounts, also accept the default, you'll get several accounts. For RPC endpoint, just accept the default as well. And for operator account private key, again, accept the default and that will use one of the accounts generated previously. So for the next one, they'll say, please ensure that you're funded followed by an EVM address. So copy that using command C or control C and then command or control click on faucet.hadera.com and press open and that will open it up in a new tab. Um, paste your wallet address inside of here, press the receive button, pass the capture, press the confirm button, and wait for a couple of seconds and you will see testnet hbar successfully sent. And once you see that, you can close this faucet. That will take you back to Gitpod. Go back to the terminal and simply hit enter because it's been funded now. And so it'll check the accounts and create them if it doesn't exist. And then it'll say, okay, here is a .n file. Do you accept this? So let's type Y for yes, hit enter. And you'll see over here that the .n file has been updated with all of the values that were generated based on the inputs or the defaults that we selected earlier on. Now, onto the challenge. So, this is the uh, this SRC folder is where our code is for the challenge, and this is the file that we'll need to edit. So over here, we're importing um, various classes from the Hedera JavaScript SDK over here, and what we're going to do is run this file. But before we do, let's scroll down to the part where we are. Um, so just above token create transaction. We have a bunch of const values, and these values are going to be used uh, to configure the token create transaction. So let's say I want to create a fungible token whose name is BGYZ coin, right? And the symbol is BGZ. And the initial supply, let's pick 1 million. All right, so we save that file. And now we're ready to run it. And you can see here, the name, symbol, initial supply are used within token create transaction. So cd src in the terminal, dot slash script, and then hit the tab key to auto complete, and then hit enter, right? And that will run this file. So you'll see here that it says configuring the new HTS token. And so this is the bit that runs over here. And then if we hit uh, in the terminal, hit enter. Then it says creating the new HTS token. So that will be over here where it actually signs, executes, um, which submits the network and then gets the receipt. So let's hit enter to proceed. 
All right, and now we have a new token ID. And then it says, okay, time to view it on Hashcan, right? And so we just hit enter to proceed and that will give us a Hashcan URL. So let's hold down command or control and then click on that URL to open it. And that will open us, uh, navigate to hashcan.io slash testnet slash token followed by your token ID that you saw earlier on. And so you should see fungible token with a name and a symbol and an initial supply of the amount that we specified. And that's it. Thank you for following along and I hope that you complete the five minute token launch challenge yourself. So once again, it's at github.com slash hedera dev slash five minute token launch challenge. Good luck.